My name is Simon uh, Jeffrey. Hi, I'm Gani Bin Jali. My name is Shafrina Rosli. My name is Dinino Shafika Binti Dahlim. Today we would like to explain the impact of pandemic of COVID-19 on Tokyo Olympic 2020. Hi and good day everyone. My name is Simon uh, Jeffrey from Group 1. With the others, group members, Kani Bijaili, Safrina Binti Rosli, and Didi Nushafika Binti Dahlim. Today we would like to explain the impact of pandemic of COVID-19 on Tokyo Olympic 2020. According to Shivani 2020, the organizer sold 4.47 million tickets for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games in the previous year and more than 11,000 competitors, 90,000 volunteers and hundreds of thousands of officials and spectators worldwide were anticipated to attain the activities. However, on March 24, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe of Japan and President Thomas Bach of the International Olympic Committee IOC agreed to postpone the Tokyo 2020 Games by a year to safeguard athletes, spectators and organizers from the COVID-19 pandemic. Organizing the Tokyo Olympic Games 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic has had several consequences including a drop in tourists, athletes performing poorly, and business disruption. So the first main idea is ban on overseas visitors to Japan during pandemic due to restriction in domestic and international traveling courses drop a tourist will be presented by Ghani. Hi, I'm Ghani Binjali. I will present main idea number one, which is ban on overseas visitor to Japan during the pandemic due to the restriction in domestic and international traveling causes the drop of tourism. Why? First, there are about 159 countries are banned to enter the Japan due to the pandemic. The main causes is based on Nikkei 2021 following the extension of a state of emergency covering. Japan will keep strict control of foreign national entering the country. Hence, according to the Immigration Service Agency, a record of 31.19 million international visitors visit to Japan in 2019, but that the number fell to 4.31 million in 2020, which is down of 86% due to the border restriction. Hmm. So you can imagine how big the impact Causes not only at Japan also happen at Malaysia when the ex Prime Minister announces MCO movement control order on 18 March 2020. That means spectators have also been banned due to the restriction of tourism. Besides that, only 22% of Japan in 126 million people have been properly vaccinated since vaccination began in February. Low vaccination also affect the COVID-19 spreading. The third one is a ban on tourism also banned from spectator which make it even worse as a sport fans we only can watch the Olympic through a broadcast <sighs> ha. although tourism is banned through but broadcast also break the record a viewing record at Tokyo 2020 yay <laughs> BBC Sport has announced a record breaking of 104 million online viewing requests for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic programming. This record is exceeding Rio 2016. The previous high was 74.4 million requests in Rio 2016, which was five years ago. But, 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 on the other hand, even though some people are exposed to the Olympic, 
the Olympic event may be benefit Japan tourism according to Mariano 2021 productivity capacity and extraction will all benefit from new infrastructure for example improved transportation link for the Olympic such as Tokyo new Yamanoto line station will reduce traffic for Japanese citizens and added to improve the efficiency domestic business travel in the future Besides, Japan has made significant investment in renovating or constructing numerical athletic facilities that will be used. Japan's pre-pandemic domestic attendance levels are predicted to be maintained by 2022, with growth increasing at a compound annual growth rate CAGR, of 6.3% from 2021 to 2024. Although Tokyo faced a sluggish tourism industry, there is still another benefit such as new infrastructure and new sporting facility. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and good day all. My name is Shafrina Rosli and I'm glad to be here with you today. Now, let's get started. Today, my presentation is about how COVID-19 affects the athletes' life. At the end of 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic had affected the whole world and had a significant impact to the world lifestyle. This has influenced and made the worldwide issue that affected political, economic, health system and also no exception to the life of athletes of Olympic and Paralympic organization. Different initiatives have been undertaken at different levels. One of the initiatives was postponing the Olympic and Paralympic Tokyo 2020 Games. Postponing sports event due to COVID-19 caused mental health problems to the athletes. Given the early study findings on COVID-19 pandemic-related psychological distress in athletes and this crisis is expected to have long-term consequences to the Olympic and Paralympic athletes. This has caused concern about their sports and career in sports. Some of the relevant symptoms to the athlete were identified, including a decrease in self-esteem, lasting emotional discomfort, increased sensitivity to make mistakes and failure due to limited opportunity to leave the house for systematic and intensive training. The athletes tend to overwork to maximize impact and that may increase the likelihood of injury. When players are allowed to train for shorter period of time, additional strain on athletes due to speed up league season, leaving less time for athletes to recover. Limited interaction with the teammates, with the coaches and others can also make the athletes more anxious. Extended and high uncertainty to the athletes and coaches future have provides them a major mental burden. That's all from me. The next topic will be presented my team member Didi Nushafika. The COVID-19 pandemic has also affected the Tokyo economy. An economic loss of 150 billion yen has also resulted from the ban on foreign visitors. It was predicted that foreign visitors would spend 150 billion yen on lodging, food and drink and transportation during their visit to Japan. It shows that the foreign visitors are very important as they account for over 70% of the economic consumption. The COVID-19 policies have also impacted the economic advantages of the Olympic Games. There, an additional 96 billion yen was spent on measures to avoid COVID-19 infections, such as countermeasures, mask, hand sanitizer, and any other thing that can prevent the COVID-19. In addition, the pandemic also affects the retail, hotel, and airlines industry. 
According to Tokyo Shoko Research, several Japanese hotels are closed, representing a 57.3% increase over the previous year in the number of hotel bankruptcies in Japan. Nippon Airways reported a 3.7 billion US dollars annual loss for 2020. This was a big loss for the airlines industry. The airline's most lucrative customers are already out of the picture, with foreign spectators forbidden from attending the Olympics in 2021. On the other hand, even with no tourists or fans, Japan already sees economic benefits from the 15.4 billion US dollars in Tokyo Olympics. The construction industry is one of the biggest beneficiaries of Olympic economic activity. The 68,000-seat National Stadium designed by Kengo Kuma and seven additional venues were created for the Olympics at a cost of roughly $3 billion, while 25 others were renovated. After the game, the stadium will be utilized for soccer and rugby matches as well as cultural events. In addition, Due to Japan's ban on spectators, most spectators switched to watching them on the internet and television with some opting for big screens. 65-inch organic light-emitting diode or OLED televisions were a popular item. Big Camera, an electronics retailer, told Time that sales of OLED TVs increased by 30% in July compared to the previous year. Economic activity is being fueled by a surge in interest in certain sports. Skateboarding is one example. Hence, skateboard games have become popular to get outside and exercise while socially isolating during the pandemic. It is attracting an increasing number of skaters to Tokyo streets and skate park. This shows that we should not only focus on the losses of the economy, but we have to look it at a different angle that it also has many benefits. We strongly agree that organizing the Tokyo Olympic Games 2020 in the middle of the COVID-19 epidemic will have negative effect on every aspect to, of Tokyo. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a negative impact on the Tokyo Olympic Games. This impact is not limited to athletes' poor performance, but also tourism and the economy due to limited opportunity for intensive training and restriction of domestic and international traveling. To prevent the virus from spreading rapidly, all parties must participate and cooperate in the vaccination program organized by the local government. If the Olympic Games are to be host, the organizer must implement the risk mitigation measure in compliance with the WHO regulation for COVID-19 social distancing. To everyone out there, please practice the 3W. Don't forget to wear your mask. Wash your hand frequently. And watch your distance. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.